Hey there, everybody. Phil here for AndroidCentral.com, and I want to walk you through tethering with Froyo and Android 2.2 and the Nexus One. So here it is. I got a phone, I got a laptop, and let's dive into the settings because that's where you get to this. And you go up to wireless and networks. And like we've showed you before, you'll actually have a couple options here. So you go down to tethering and portable hotspot. So right now there's nothing actually plugged into the phone, right? It's not plugged into the computer, so you don't have the USB tether option. But let's change that. So plugging the phone into the computer and bingo. It lights up and now you can do USB tethering. So let's do that first, right? That's all you have to do is check the box. It's that simple. It does everything else for you. So you'll get a little notification up top saying it's tethered via USB. And you see behind me Firefox is offline right now. And it'll take a second or two to uh, connect. Depends on your computer. Mine's occasionally a little fluky. But shouldn't take more than a minute or so. And I just turned off completely all the Wi-Fi on the computer just to make sure nothing else tries to connect there. So I can see down on the bottom it's trying to connect via a wired connection. And now let's go back to my home screen, and there we go. We're on the internet. Cool. So, as long as we're here, let's actually do a speed test, huh? I mean, it's one thing to connect, but let's see how fast it is. Now, obviously, it's not going to be as quick as a, wi a normal Wi-Fi connection, or even a, uh, or especially if you're uh, connected over Cat5, but it's not supposed to be, so we'll take what we can get. So, let's test it against a Miami server and see how that goes. And right now it's checking the latency, how quickly it can ping back and forth with the server, and that's not quick at all. <laughs> Normally when I'm uh, wired up with a laptop I get like 50 milliseconds or something, and that's 300 something, so it's not the quickest in the world, but it's also not that unusual. So here's the download test, one megabit per second and change, which isn't bad, right? That's kind of normal 3G speeds for me on AT&T. So it looks like we'll probably get almost one E, yep, there you go, one even. So not great, but you know, not the worst in the world either, and your mileage will absolutely vary depending on where you live and towers and all that stuff. And 0 0.32 upstream, so that's not great either, but again, you know, what are you gonna get? Now let's do wireless, huh? Wired out. Oh, sorry, wrong phone. Sorry about that. All right, now let's do wireless tethering, huh? And again, all you do is hit the button. So you see the phone's not plugged into anything. Tap the little button and it takes a second to turn on and bingo, same notification, there you go. And you can go change the settings if you want. You can configure the Wi-Fi hotspot. You can change the name of the SSID, the name of the network that appears. And you can put security on it if you want. I'll just leave it open for the purposes of this demo. And go down here to my laptop and connect to Android AP, Android Access Point. Again, this could take a second, right? So let's fire up Firefox while we're waiting. And oh, look at that, we're already in line. That was very quick. Cool. So again, let's go do another speed test. We'll go back to speedtest.net. And while you're connected, you know, note you can go and do other stuff. You don't have to sit there on that setting screen, right? And if you want to go back to it, you just pull down the notification bar, and bingo, you're right back to it. Hey, look, that's not speedtest.net. Apparently somebody can't type. So let's try this again. And already we can tell it's not the world's fastest connection, right? But, again, not surprising. So, I mean, this isn't something you're necessarily going to want to use every day, but it's nice in a pinch. Like if you're at a Google conference and have no internet because there are 5,000 people connecting their droids. Anyway, so let's test against that same Miami server again and see how it works wirelessly. I would expect it to be a little slower, right? Just because it's wireless, you might have a little loss. I don't know. So let's see. Same slow latency. Look at that. Urgh. All right, so now let's check the download speed. And it's taking its sweet time to even start it. That doesn't bode well. Come on, let's go. You can do it. There it goes, so it's trickling along not fast at all, wow. Don't worry, this isn't gonna be the only test we're going to do, I think. So we're up to... 0.36, 0.34, 0.3, see, that's not good. 
That could well just be my connection. That could well be the server. So we'll test again here in a second on another server and see, because that's really going slow. I mean, that's almost unusable, right? That's like edge speeds. So let's see, <laughs> look at that, and upstream is almost twice as fast. So let's do this, let's test it on another server, right? Let's switch over to New Orleans. I'm kind of in between New Orleans and Miami, so split the difference. And let's see if things go any faster here. I would expect the latency to be about the same. It generally is when I've done these tests. And it looks like it's going to continue to be. Yep. So again, you know, it is what it is. But let's check the download speed. I would hope it's faster. Oh yeah, see, there we go. We're bursting up to one and a half, just about. So again, that's kind of normal 3G speeds for me in town. Um, so you're gonna have, you know, when you're tethering like this, you have to worry about the server, you have to worry about your uh, connection to the network in the first place, the server you're going to. So, you know, there's a lot of things to take into consideration here, right? So it's still kind of trickling along, but those are normal 3G speeds for me. So really that's not bad. And let's see what the upload speed here is on the New Orleans server. And two and change, so, you know, again, not great. Not the worst thing in the world. So this is built into Froyo, Android 2.2. We'll see if your carrier lets you have it, you know, when you get it that way. But for stock ROMs, it's on there. All right, we'll see you, everybody.